This is one of the most stacked cheeseburger challenges I've ever faced. It has layer upon layer upon layer of beef patties, cheese, and drizzled in garlic mayo. But the real challenge here is that you only have 20 minutes to finish this entire thing. And the battle is on, and oh man, this could be a doozy of a challenge. And if I'm not careful, it could very well knock me off my winning streak, which is why to get an early start on this challenge, I went with the double patty method here. As I'm taking on the burger patty record challenge at Eight Bulls Eatery in the Hamilton area of Newcastle, New South Wales of Australia. And this is the final day while in Newcastle. And what better way to finish this portion of the Australian tour than by trying to tackle one of the tallest cheeseburgers in the area. And as I mentioned, this is a burger patty record challenge. So in order to beat this challenge, you have to break the current record for number of patties on the burger, which at the time was 14 patties set by my favorite Australian eater, Mr. Lemon Blossom. So on my cheeseburger challenge, I had to finish 15 burger patties, each coming with their own slice of cheese. Then there's also some garlic mayo, which you can just see oozing out from the sides. And again, 20 minute time limit, so there's not a lot of time here. And if you win, you get the meal for free and your picture up on their wall of fame. So things were working out pretty well as I was eating two patties at a time and just doing my thing by going to town and sending it down. But something else that was making things a lot easier here was the fact that while this stacked cheeseburger was quite a sight to see, it was also quite sensational on the taste buds too, which was a much welcome delight because I'm sure this would have been a real grind getting through it otherwise. But thankfully, that was far from the case here. Between how juicy these perfectly cooked burgers were and the melted cheese and the fact that this whole cheeseburger challenge had that melt in your mouth quality to it, there also wasn't a ton of grease either, which you can probably notice since that bottom bun just isn't completely soaked like a sponge of sorts, which for me is always a nice sight to see. Although for how this cheeseburger tasted overall, I'd have to wait and see until I got to that bottom half of this burger behemoth, which is when I'd start getting a taste of that garlic mayo. <laughs> Don't encourage that. <laughs> So the garlic mayo, it wasn't sweet, but it was a real treat. And it was definitely what the doctor ordered here. And just to let you in on a bit of a secret here, I actually did sample some of the garlic mayo before this challenge began, and I was really digging it. It had less of a garlic punch than I was expecting, and it was more on the creamier side of things, which I was certainly all about, because I was getting a little fearful of having some garlic PTSD, which I got from a burger challenge from a previous trip that was just loaded with the stuff. But now. After having sampled that garlic mayo, I had an idea. I asked the owner if he could put most of that garlic mayo and put it on the bottom half of the burger, figuring that by the time I got to the second half of this cheeseburger, that garlic mayo, it would stomp out any flavor fatigue that was starting to creep in. And guess what? It worked like a charm. And it was like my taste buds were refreshed and replenished, starting from scratch. getting some love and support here from the crowd as I make my way towards the finish line. And here, I tried getting a bit more aggressive by making an actual burger with the last two patties, but then I started to realize that these burger buns were on the bigger side of things, which by the way, I just absolutely love putting big old buns into my mouth. But in this case, it was a bit more than I could chew. So to make things a bit easier on myself, I took out one of the patties, then took it down after a few bites, then came back to what was left and continued on. And of course, what better way to finish off this cheeseburger challenge than with the cool, crisp, refreshing taste of the most valuable tool in my food fighting arsenal, Diet Coke.
Hold on, in order to finalize this victory, it's time for those post-challenge victory push-ups. If you want to see more from this trip, you can check out the playlist on the screen or in the description down below, and I'll see you there.